Yeah, y'all read the title right. Now, before y'all start calling me crazy in the comments, hear me out, all right? Like, you should think like a drug addict. You should think like a crackhead. Because a crackhead will always find a way to get cracked. It doesn't matter if he, he don't got no money or if he's even homeless. A crackhead will always find a way to get his fix. There's no excuses. Like, even if he even if he got to suck a little dick or something like that to get the drug money. Like, sometimes you got to suck a little dick for the greater good. You know what I'm saying? Now, does that, does that make you gay? I don't think it does because it's like, you, you, go, 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 but you're not doing it because you like it. You're doing it because you try and get your crack. So I feel like if you sucking dick for the greater good, you're not homosexual. I, like, you still good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you could relate this to something else in your life. Like, it, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be crack. Like, a crackhead wakes up in the morning and they're already trying to get their fix. Like, they got that Sigma male peanut butter jelly grind set. You feel what I'm saying? Like, a crackhead doesn't care what other people got to say. The only thing they're focused on is getting high. They don't care who stands in their way or nothing, bro. Like, nobody is going to stop them from getting that crack pipe and lighting that bitch up and, you know what I'm saying, getting their little high on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like I didn't see crackheads get punched in the head, hit by cars, all kinds of shit. And them niggas, they just get right back up and they start looking for more crack, bro. You know, like, they really hard-bodied when you really think about it. You know, it's just like when my, when my mom came in my video the other day, and she was telling me to clean that big log of doo-doo out the toilet, bruh. Like, even though the log the log wasn't even that big, bruh. Like, it was like a little little tiny doo-doo ball in the toilet, bruh. Like, a little doo-doo ball in the toilet. She acting like I blew up the whole bathroom or something, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, she acting like somebody died or something, bro. Like, the only reason I even left the doo-doo ball in the toilet in the first place is because I was, I was trying to do, like, a social experiment. You know what I'm saying? But, like, it doesn't matter what she got to say because at the end of the day, I'm going to still do my cow stand. But, yeah, crackheads, crackheads, they don't make no excuses, bro. They get into that crack no matter what. It don't matter if it's, like... It doesn't matter what's going on, bruh. Crackhead is always going to find a way to get cracked, bruh. Because when you take the green Pop-Tart and you turn it into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, who is going to, like, take the chicken nugget and who's going to take the chicken sandwich, bruh? Like, really ask yourself that. Who is going to get the Xbox? Who going to get the PlayStation? Because Donald Trump not president no more, bruh. And Joe Biden thinks that we forgot he's still in office. But when I was playing the Budokai Tenkaichi games, I wasn't worried about who was president, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, but if this message really resonated with y'all, then I want you to go ahead and comment peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Thanks for watching, and don't let nobody ruin your day.